Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in this video uh, we're going to be looking at accessing an iframe document. Okay, so by this I mean we're able to, um, using JavaScript, access the underlying document object that is part of an embedded iframe. Alright, so this is especially useful when you want to um, modify or change the contents of an iframe through the parent document. Okay, so um, here we have just a uh, just a basic HTML page and we're going to um, embed an iframe into it and then modify the contents of the iframe using um, a, uh, a property in JavaScript called content window and content document. Alright, so inside the HTML for this document, um, it looks like this right now. So we have just, you know, the basics. Okay, and we also have in the same directory uh, something called content.html which contains uh, even even simpler just a body and an h1 tag okay so we're gonna um, put this in an iframe inside this document right here so just going to uh, make a new iframe and have the frame border as true okay and just gonna say as the source content dot html so I can now save this and refresh the browser and we get this right here okay so pretty straightforward alright so um, I'm also just for demonstration I'm just going to add a button above this iframe and when you click on it we're going to change the contents and the background color of this iframe okay so back inside here I'm just going to add a basic button all right and when it gets clicked on so on click we're just going to run a JavaScript function we can call this one change stuff and change stuff as the button text and a horizontal rule right there Okay, so uh, when this button gets pressed, we're going to run this function right here, change stuff. So inside the JavaScript, we can make a function called, of course, change stuff. All right, so um, basically, with the whole thing where you can access the iframe document, um, you want to first get a reference to the iframe itself. All right, so let's make a new constant up here. We're going to call this one my iframe. So we can say const my iframe equal to document.getElementById and we're going to pass in here my iframe and also add the ID of my iframe to this iframe itself okay so my iframe all right cool so now we have the iframe uh, referenced in JavaScript um, we can then access uh, two special properties on the iframe um, that are called content window and content document okay so I'll first explain the content window so inside the change stuff function we're gonna make a new constant and call this one uh, iframe iframe window equal to my iframe dot content window okay so um, basically this content window property of the iframe is uh, basically your access to the entire window global object of the underlying document inside the embedded iframe. Okay, so um, basically, uh, we're just going to console.log here, iframe window, so we can see what's happening. So I can save this and refresh the browser and then click on this change stuff button and we get this right here. So we have access to the entire window object of this this document inside here so all of the APIs all of the DOM all of that stuff is included inside this window object including the actual document itself so this is quite important obviously um, the document is probably the most used uh, property of the window object so um, we're going to be using the document property of this to perform some manipulation all right so back inside here and we can access, of course, the document of the iframe window by simply just saying iframe window dot document. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Um, so I can save this and refresh. And of course here, we now get the document of um, the actual iframe. All right, cool. So there's actually two ways of accessing the document. So the first one is like this iframe window dot document the second way is using the content document property of the iframe so it's like a shortcut to the document object okay so um, we can make a new constant down here we can call this one iframe document which is equal to uh, my iframe dot 
uh, content document. Okay, so essentially uh, my iframe dot content document is the exact same thing as saying my iframe dot content window dot document. Okay, so we can see the resemblance here between um, the usual window object and the usual document object with these two um, constants right here. So it's basically the exact same thing, which means we have access to the entire document. We can do all of the regular stuff. So for example, um, to change the background color of the iframe, pretty straightforward. Uh, we can just say iframe document dot body dot style dot background color is equal to, let's just say red. Okay, so if I was to perform this on this page, I would make this instead document body dot style etc so it's the exact same thing but we're using the iframe document instead of our current document for this page so I can now save this and refresh and press on this button and the content for the um, for the iframe obviously uh, is now red okay so um, pretty cool stuff um, we can also access of course the actual heading so back inside here uh, let's make a new constant down here and call this one iframe heading is equal to iframe document dot query selector and we're going to select the first h1 tag inside the iframe okay so um, we have that right now I can do iframe heading dot text content and of course change it so this has been changed right, so I can now save this and refresh and we get the expected result um, not really let's just uh, change that error there so I'm using a column instead of a semicolon. Try again, save this and refresh, and we get this right here. Perfect, okay? So um, this is useful for when you're obviously um, embedding some sort of uh, standalone website or application inside your application, um, and then you wanna sort of customize it based on the contents of your surrounding parent document. But just keep in mind though that um, you know this whole this whole thing with accessing the window and the document um, follows the typical uh, cross-origin uh, security rules set by the browser. So um, you got to make sure that this iframe comes from the same origin, so the same um, basically server or website as your host website. Okay, or else not going to work. So I can't just I can't just embed Google here and then change the you know, color of the text for google.com inside my iframe. It's not going to work. So let's make sure that your iframe contents comes from the same origin as your parent document. All right. And that is how to access the iframe of a document with JavaScript. All right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.